Good morning, this is Sean Kent Hayashi from Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers, and this happens to be Devin and Honeybee. And Devin's here doing training with all of our little fur babies, and you can see they're playing here. This is Oliver. Oliver is back with us for about two weeks while his family is on vacation. Oliver is Reddy's son, and you can see, oh my goodness, aren't they so cute together? And there's a lot of playing going on here. Sweet Tea is having a great time with Truffles over here playing, and uh, Grace is quite happy this morning. Hey, Grace, Arr, Grace, there's my Grace. Hi, Grace. So I wanted to show you, here's Devin, it's a, ha it's a typical Wednesday morning here. Devin's working with dogs. And I wanted to show you what else is going on here. So we've got puppies upstairs. Penny's four puppies are upstairs. Liberty happens to be upstairs as well. And the reason that Liberty is upstairs is because she's in season right now. But Anne is here and Anne is bathing Huckleberry. Huckleberry and some of our local dogs come back regularly for grooming. And so, hello Huckleberry. Huckleberry's getting a bath. Anne does such a great job with grooming our dogs. And this is the area in which bathing occurs. But I'll also show you the grooming area. So this is our grooming area. And I have to tell you, we were greatly influenced by Amy Lee, the Go Groomer, in our efforts. Amy Lee uh, created this blueprint. We love her blueprint. We love Amy Lee. And uh, she helped us create this great uh, grooming area. We have all kinds of products and so forth. Amy Lee and I will be doing a live event together soon. We'll tell you more about that. But I just got a question on my um, YouTube channel asking me about my washing machines and how I do the potty pads. So I wanted to show you, just so you could see it visually what happens. This is the washing machine that we specifically use for all of our dog related things. And the reason that we chose this one is because I have the exact same one upstairs in my own family laundry. So this is the GE profile and what I love about it is that it has this sanitize. So I always sanitize everything. So these right here are ready to go into the dryer. And this is the dryer. So the GE profile. And we put it on the towels setting when we are doing our potty pads. Those are all dry and ready to come out. You see also we have the belly bands that we do for our boys. Or actually it's just Reddy. Reddy's the only one who really gets a belly band on. And we do that when there's a girl who's in season because Reddy has a tendency to want to mark to make sure he lets her know that he's ready too. So this is our area, the the, sham, or the um, detergent that we use for our potty pads is this all. And then I'll occasionally use bleach if I feel like something needs that. But I do use vinegar, so if something has an odor to it, and I'm washing it, I'm going to use vinegar. I put the vinegar in this little section right here. One of the things I love about this particular washing machine is it already has this smart dispense. So we can put a whole bunch of the um, liquid detergent in there and then it just does this auto, so it, it puts the amount of detergent that we need in the washer and dryer. So that's the setup we've got going on here. In just a few minutes, Huckleberry will be in here being groomed. And there are all sorts of fun things happening. I see Devin was just doing a roll the ball and a jump with little Honeybee. Honeybee loves her obedience workouts. Frankly, all of my dogs do. They love doing their daily routine. It keeps their mind sharp. I talk about the importance of having boundaries and structure and exercise and training. So all of my dogs have lots of boundaries and the boundaries are related to things like having a clear playpen space, having a clear space for going potty. So you see here in terms of my playpen, the way I've set this up, I've got these potty pads down here at this end of one of my playpens, but I've also learned to put potty pads on this side of the playpen as well, because uh, Reddy, my boy, will raise his leg 
and sometimes it can come through, but also when dogs are out playing, as they often are when, when there's not training going on here, the dogs are out and then they can come use these potty pads if they want to. So structure and boundaries is all about making sure a dog knows where they're supposed to be, what they're supposed to be doing. It's the, it's the um, discipline, it's the um, framework for what it means to be a really great dog and they can feel confident and good about themselves because they know the, the structure and the boundaries. And then training and exercise, it's all about uh, a routine for learning. And we've got all sorts of routines for learning. In fact, we've got playlists related to uh, training a puppy and helping it to understand uh, the process, the sequence of learning. So you can see here, she just loves her little routine, as they all do. We've got some other fun things happening today here, so we may share some more video. Uh, a little later this afternoon, some of what's going on with Penny and her puppies. So I'll update you on that. But uh, Julie B, thank you so much for your question, asking about uh, what type of washing machine we use. You prompted me to come and give you all a bigger tour of this space down here and how we use it. This is the lower level of my home. These dogs are very much a part of my day-to-day -day home life. In fact, all of my older dogs uh, sleep with me, and my little puppies are only a few feet away from me, so these dogs get really socialized in a home environment. Environment. But thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. We love your comments and your questions. We'll say to be continued in the next video. Thank you.